morning guys welcome back to another monday vlog i have not done a monday vlog in so long i used to do these vlogs all the time because mondays were like my really productive work from home days back in college in la and they're still productive days and this is a this is a very true monday because i have my groceries that just arrived so i need to go get those from downstairs i have some planning i need to do we've got work to do i'm gonna clean it's gonna be a productive vlog so i hope you guys enjoy be sure to subscribe if you guys haven't already it's 8 a.m i've been up for a few hours i actually worked out which normally i will work out like in the evening but it was pouring rain this morning so i couldn't take the dogs on a walk anyways which is what i normally do in the mornings i just did 12 through 30 who's shocked also comment below if you guys are also doing 12 through 30 like lauren dorado literally started a revolution i want to talk to you guys about the sponsor of today's video all of these opinions are truly my own i don't work with any brand that i don't love but i really really love these products the first two I just need to share with you I'm working with Vegamore by the way which is a vegan wellness brand they have hair products they have products for your brows they have products for your eyelashes their um, serums actually have CBD in them I actually just put this in my hair as my last step I just take one full droplet of this and then I put it on my hands and I just like run it through my hair lots of hair growth so if you want your hair to be fuller if you're experiencing any bald spots I've seen online so many crazy before and afters of people and I'm like oh my gosh hi Fitz <laughs> are you guys crying at that face he's just smiling <laughs> so cute my hair grows pretty quickly like it's not the worst thing ever but it sheds really 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 bad so that's like one of the reasons i mean i'm excited for my hair to grow even more i cut it when i went blonder and i just want it to be longer so that's one thing and then the second thing i am really excited about the shedding all these before and afters guys are literally insane so i'm excited to take you guys through what i have the first two products that i'm going to share with you um are just my two faves so this is a scalp massager like this is the treatment you get in a salon it's so good you can see you, you obviously just massage your scalp with it in the shower it feels so freaking good what is the, what do i always say that brian boy says why did i just forget it elevate your everyday experience that's what i said the second thing this product is my newest like go-to 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 hair product as you guys know i've shared this so many times i have really bad product buildup and my hair is just really fine so it just happens pretty easily and this is the grow scalp detoxifying serum so what you do part your dry hair you just put it on your scalp uh, massage it into your head for like one to two minutes and then let it sit for five to ten go in the shower wash it off and guys you know how clean your hair feels when you leave the salon again <laughs> I'm always referencing the salon but you know what i mean how clean and perfect and like weightless it feels that's how i felt after using this last night it was the best thing ever i've tried so many other products for it as well and like nothing nothing compares to this i'm telling you you need to get this i'm showing you the wrong side you need to get this um because it is the absolute best it's really really great then i've just been using the revitalizing shampoo and revitalizing conditioner basically their products restore retain and renew the packaging is really really pretty i love the products the very like luxurious luxe vegamar has changed my hair it's just feeling so good i've definitely noticed um my hair fallout being way less okay, so normally when i do this there's no hair as you can see but normally when i do that it's so much hair it's vegan and cruelty free i'm loving their products my hair is loving their products seriously it just feels so good so you guys can click the link below to get a discount with vegamore so getting on with my day i need to go get my groceries from downstairs and put them away update on the house situation um we have not made any decisions yet as far as like what we're gonna do with fixing the water damage I think we might between like today and tomorrow once that happens then it takes another five days and then it'll happen so it's gonna be within the next like two weeks probably i think i'm gonna move into a hotel so it'll be super fun with that being said the thing that is making so much noise downstairs oh guys you will not believe this they left this here right and they were like oh well it's worse than we thought so we have to leave and um we'll come back whenever whatever right they leave something here they don't tell me anything about a cost nothing about leaving anything here at all they and they're trying to take advantage of me because i'm a young girl right they then try to say that they have been charging me 500 dollars a day this thing has been here for like two weeks um to keep this fan and i was like that's absolutely that's literally absolutely not happening so long story short i just got a text hi miss kinsey i'd love to come by today and pick up the machine that's working there if there's a time that works for you we will not be charging you for those days i'm like 
oh my gosh like the fact i talk about this all the time in videos but like the amount that like grown men try to take advantage of young girls is absolutely ridiculous also i haven't even wanted that machine to be down there because it makes so much noise at some point today the noise will be gone which is exciting so i'm gonna clean up really quick and then we're gonna go get the groceries look at the pups so cute so cute girl fitz is just as happy as can be his groomer is closed the next two days so we are here with smelly fitz ah yes home sweet home but that annoying fan is going today thank god okay guys here's my grocery haul by the way i got a quote for the kitchen and i think i'm totally good with the quote so this will be happening within the next few months but this is finally going to be extended for bar stools i really want to get a sectional couch here um i realize i honestly never sit at this couch i never use this area anymore but i use sectional so i think it's worth it and i really want one that kind of looks like the cloud couch but isn't the cloud couch obviously so i don't know once this is moved then i can measure and see what i want to do but that is going to be on the agenda for this year i just want to make it something that i use more often i'm also going to get a fireplace installed somehow i've been doing a lot of research on pinterest but when this kitchen gets redone it'll be amazing also having bar stools will change the game because it's just more like counter space and like things that i actually use you know this is my favorite bread dave's bread i got this apple butter um i can't remember why it was from one of the recipes that i'm making this week i got some um just chicken breast for some sandwiches um blueberries this yogurt is the best yogurt you'll ever have in your entire life and i'm not really like a yogurt gal necessarily oh i forgot granola oh well it's fine um but this is so good like cannot recommend it enough cashews flavor basic goldfish you know and then um strawberries i got primal kitchen cilantro lime dressing and marinade with avocado oil some cheese because i'm making chili um, corn tortillas, the best kind. I always just like to have sweet potato fries like in the freezer and I felt like I was out of them. Got some bell peppers, chocolate covered almonds, so good. Ground turkey and then ground chicken. I got some beans, lots of avocados because I eat them every morning and then I also use them as snacks. So I literally got eight for myself. Let's see if I eat them all this week. I mean, I'm gonna have to, I just bought them. Some chili powder, some beans, tomato paste, and my other guilty pleasure snack. So. That's what I got, pretty much healthy besides, you know, my snacks and healthy is about balance, you know what I mean? I just made some toast, had some breakfast, made some coffee, I was just playing with the tree of baton. Oh, hi dude. This is how Coco eats her food. Also, the bed is so cute. It's from Home Goods. I don't know how to describe it. I just don't feel like I look like myself today. Anyways, I mentioned previously in last week's vlog where I was talking about work anxiety a little bit that writing things down physically has been helping me a lot lately. I know this probably sounds like an obvious one to some of you guys, but I do pretty much everything digitally. So like my Google Calendar and then I use my notes app for literally everything. I started writing things down physically and this wasn't the journal that I planned on using forever, but this was just what I had. So I started using this wow cannot just recommend it enough to you so i got journals that i think are cute this says kenzie elizabeth on it and some layouts so i'm gonna go ahead and go through it and plan out my week what i have to do and then use this for notes so this will probably be like to do's just random things that i need to do we have we have a shoot for the living room next week this is actually a pretty busy week my last week i have by myself in this house i have a very very busy week next week so i need to get like double the work done so I'm gonna get to um, the rest of my planning. Normally I'll have this done before the work day, which I pretty much do because that in itself gives me anxiety to like go into the work day and not know what I'm doing. I already have a plan, I'm recording and doing things today, but I just wanna fill this out and have everything together so I know what I'm doing and so I feel better. And then I have a call with Carly at 10. We call every Monday, I'm just going over like what we need to do. So I'm gonna get to work. Happy Monday. This is my first call and it is only, it's 10.30. I just cannot focus. I've been off for so long and I've done my whole productive morning routine, the whole thing. And I might just go on a little like 20 minute walk, listen to a podcast and then get back to it. And I'll have a recording for like another hour and a half. Um, because I just feel like I'm not being like efficient right now. I just literally was on the meeting and I'm like, I don't know why I cannot focus. So, oh, but really quickly, I did map out my week in this planner and then I used my notebook and I just went through to do so like today's to do's tomorrow to do's 
I have a call tomorrow with someone that I'm kind of doing like research from so I mapped out some questions that I want to ask them and just writing things down physically has really helped with my feeling of being like overwhelmed at work but I think I'm gonna take the dogs on a quick little walk I just went on a little like 15 minute walk and I feel so much better. I listened to Oprah Super Soul Sunday. Okay, so the walk did help. I went back to the office and knocked some stuff off and it knocked some stuff out. And knocked some stuff out. Okay, I am recording today and I just felt like I needed a little drink, a little treat. I feel like my days for the past month or so have been the exact same every day. So I'm just trying to like switch it up a little bit, you know? I, I feel like a cold brew would probably be bad for me right now. Listen to Lennon and Stella, the sunroof down. Have a nice day. Thank you, have a good day. Okay, I got a venti ice peach green tea lemonade. It looks really good, taste test. Oh my God, this is so good. Oh my gosh, guys. I'm back home with the world's best tea from Starbucks. Again, everyone, that is the iced peach green tea lemonade. But instead of green tea, it was black tea. I don't think I said that before. Um, the barista told me to do this and I trusted him with my life because he's so freaking nice. Like this barista at Starbucks, I feel like they're all fairly nice, but this one barista, I just recognize his voice. And I honestly, I've gone twice this year. Um, what a guy. Like, he's just, he's just so nice. Like I was saying, I trust him with my life. Also, it's like really nice outside and normally I prefer gloomy weather and it's been gloomy, but it feels really good out today. You know what? I really am my father's daughter part 783 because I just realized that this book, he, my dad sent me his podcast the other day. Didn't even put that together. As we know, I'm really good about reading fiction books. It's currently January, it's currently January 25th and I and I'm on my 10th book of 2020. But I wanna go back into reading some nonfiction books and I think I might go sit out on my rooftop. Oh, you know what, it poured last night. My sh I don't think that's gonna happen. But I would love to sit outside and just read a few chapters a day. I almost wanna like incorporate that into my work day because it's like bettering my work, you know what I mean? Anyways, I'm going to record this week's episode for my podcast. If you guys didn't know I have a podcast, so it's gonna be a what I'm learning episode, which you guys used to love and I haven't done one in over a year. Then at the end, I literally cannot talk today. At the end of this episode, Danielle will come on, which we're also recording today. I am so like distracted today, but we recap this past month's book club. A lot of you guys ask how to join the book club. Basically, I have a book club for the podcast, so every month we all read the same book. And on the last Thursday of that month, I will recap it and do like a little book club episode towards the end of the episode. So you just read along and listen to the episode. I just cannot get over how good this drink is, guys. Also, being outside puts me in the best mood, and this office just gets the worst natural lighting ever. I have been working on this week's episode for hours and I've recorded my like 25 minute portion of it and I just cannot get it right. So I've moved to my room and I'm going to re-record it. I just finished recording with Danielle and I'm just going to get it done. I know I'm going to get it done. I'm getting excited. And then once I do this, I'm pretty much done for my work day today. I'm trying to like really space things out and not try to do too much in one day. All right, I'm done. I spent probably like five hours recording that episode, so I hope you guys listen. I just kept redoing it and way overthinking it and then feeling like I couldn't get what I was trying to say across, whatever. Now it is time to clean. Um, cleaning always makes me feel so much better and I just need to do laundry and then like vacuum, wipe some stuff, things like that. First, I'm taking off my makeup and doing a little bit of skincare or something this afternoon as I do my laundry. Comment below what your favorite household chore is. I would rather like do the dishes than do laundry. Honestly, just because of probably having to carry it so far, but. We have semi good news, the noise is gone. Update everyone, no idea on that, but I did get a quote, as I mentioned in another something, um, for the kitchen. 
So the plan is to do a cool quartz that looks like marble, but it's not marble because I'm not made of money. Since I moved in, the plan has been to redo the kitchen for the longest time and I just haven't gotten around to it and things like the water damage keep popping up, you know? But I'm gonna do um, the same backsplash encounters. I really love that look. It's only 4 p.m. and I was about to start on dinner just because I felt like cooking and then I realized that the recipe that I was gonna make involves a slow cooker, so it takes six hours. So we're not doing that tonight. And the other recipe I have for this week is tacos and I already have that for lunch, so I'm just gonna DoorDash. I have DoorDash credit. Um, I'm actually just gonna catch up on some vlogs and then actually start editing this one. It is only four, so it's not like I'm really done with work or anything like that, but let's do a poll. Well, my kitchen is redone, and you know, obviously the haunted house goes away, and I have like a bar stool and actually a work area in my kitchen. Do you guys think that I'm gonna end up working down here more than my office because there's more natural lighting here? And then do you think that I should make my office a closet room? But I don't really feel like I need a closet room. What should I do? I just feel like I'm not utilizing my space enough and it's like driving me crazy. Can you guys tell because I talk about it 24 seven? Okay, well, gonna get back to work. I was waiting to end today's vlog until my food came and my food arrived and I ate it all and I forgot. So I just ordered Chop Chop for dinner, but that is it for my Monday in my life vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm sure a lot of you guys can probably relate to feeling like distracted and whatever, working from home, especially right now. But I love you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. Don't forget to check out Vegamore's products. I'll have them down below and you guys can use that link for a discount. Hi, Fitz. Um, okay, well, that is it for this vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. I do feel like in our generation, everything revolves around alcohol though. And that's something that I feel like I struggle with as well because I am really passionate about health and wellness and I know how it affects me in a negative way and I do feel pressured sometimes that I can't say no like oh I don't want to get a drink at dinner with my friends because I don't want people to say stuff like I know my friends would be so supportive and they wouldn't make me feel bad about it.